this free plugin not only allows you to create animated captions, but also gives you way more control than the built-in DaVinci Resolve caption system. In this video, I'll be using Snap Captions 2 along with my new pack TextFlow to create animated lyrics for this music video. There'll be a link in the description where you can download Snap Captions 2. Also, there'll be a link to Orson's YouTube channel where he goes more in depth to all the different features of Snap Captions. Go to your download, extract the folder. Once your download is done, go back to DaVinci, open the workspace and go to console. Open up the Snap Caption folder and you want to look for this Lua file here. Grab it and then bring it to the console and let go. You'll then be prompted with this installation screen. Select agree and then install plugin. Once the installation is complete, it'll tell you it needs to restart DaVinci. You can just click this button here to close out DaVinci. Go up to workspace, go down to workflow integrations and select Snap Caption. You'll then get this pop up. The cool thing with Snap Caption is you can use any text plus to create captions. So for this, I'm gonna use TextFlow. It's a pack I created with nearly 50 presets, recreating some of the viral captions you've seen lately in Instagram, TikTok, and social media in general. So now that I have Snap Captions open, I'm just gonna go to my media pool. And under master, I'm gonna right click, like new bin. You're basically gonna create a bin called Snap Caption. That way the plugin will know what to reference to. Now, once the bin's created, I'm gonna go to effects and I already have it pulled up here. These are the presets from TextFlow. I'm gonna grab the shine flicker preset. I'm gonna bring it to my timeline. I'm gonna move this to the side for right now. All I wanna do is just basically change the color. So I'm gonna click on it, go to inspect this tab, hit the drop down arrow on the color controls, and I'm gonna change it to this like kind of teal like color, kind of tealish green. So this preset creates a flicker amongst the characters. This effect is procedural, which means it basically will adapt to whatever text you type in. Now, since I'm going to be creating captions with this, I don't want it to be too long. So I'm going to go over into the inspector tab and the control that says Adam delay. I'm going to turn it down. This is going to speed up the animation. I'm going to turn it down to about, about 0 0.25. Then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go click on the media pool and I'm going to just grab this and take it and place it within the snap captions folder. I can then delete this from my timeline for right now. Then I go over to the plugin. Now they do have a bunch of templates here. You can do word by word templates if you want to use one of these and you can customize them. But I'm gonna go up here to Ben and hit this reset button. Now here it's saying it doesn't recognize the folder because I've left the S off the words. So I go back over here and click on snap captions and then I add the S to the word. It should be good to go from there. So I'm gonna click away, go back to Ben, hit reset. But now it's recognizing it. So then I hit drop down. It's gonna show you anything that you have in that folder. So I'm gonna click on my preset. So now it's generated a preview. I click on it, place the animation, it's just put in hello world. Then over here, I still have full control of the preset. The settings that work best for me is to turn this all the way down to one, and then turn this down as low as it go, which I think is six. Then if you hit create phrases, it's gonna ask you to transcribe the audio. Now this is just a demo, so it's not that much here, but it's say for instance, if you had a longer video and you only wanna create captions for a particular section, you can go in and select in and out points by hitting I and O on your timeline. Then when you go to transcribe audio, it will only transcribe that particular section. Right now I'm gonna hit Alt X to get rid of the in and out points because this video is so small. I'm gonna hit transcribe audio. So I'm gonna minimize this for right now. I'm gonna turn off the audio for some copyright reasons. You can see here it picked up on the words of the song. So now if I go back to snap captions and go down here and hit create phrases, it's basically gonna kind of like lump some of the words together. So this here is showing the grouping that it's using. Then you can click on spelling. So if anything is wrong that you know of, you can go ahead and change the spelling here, or you can click on the subtitle itself and go in and make corrections here. Like right here, it says discrete when it's actually saying the streets. Now, if you want to make corrections within the plugin, double click here is going to ask you to, to purchase it, which is a monthly fee. For now, I'm just sticking with the free version. So I'm going to minimize this and then find that particular part in the song and correct it myself. So now that that's corrected, I'll go back to snap captions. I'm gonna click on the rocket a little delivery tab. And if I go in here right now, you actually don't see anything on this preview. That's because for some odd reason, it like makes the text and stuff like extremely large. So I'm gonna go up here to text size. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna turn up on the Y axis. So you can control it right from here. So turn up on the Y axis. So you can see there is it's huge. I'm gonna turn this down. And this actually adjusts the placement of it as well. And then I'm gonna move it back down on the Y axis here. So this was actually will look like on the timeline. But in the video itself, I'll put it by right here, I guess. Then you do other things like capitalization and uh, clean up punctuation marks and stuff like that as well. The font I'm using actually all the text is capitalized anyway, so I'm not gonna mess with any of that. And then I'm just gonna hit create captions. So now in DaVinci Resolve, there is a 
auto captions function on the timeline. If you go up to the timeline, AI tools, create subtitles, and it'll create a subtitle track for you. But that subtitle track is extremely limited on what you can do with it. Now in my pack text flow, if I go down to subtitles, you have these little subtitle effects here. I designed these to actually be used with the DaVinci Resolve captions function. So I drag subtitle four down here. And if I reactivate this track and then deactivate this track, as you can see here, it's creating the subtitles. But I can only use that one subtitle style unless I want to go through and manipulate different timelines and all this type of stuff. So now this is using one of the presets from my text flow pack. I don't need this anymore right now. I'm just going to minimize it. So now you can see here everything is working fine. But one of the best things about using snap captions to create your captions is that it's using the text plus, which means I can go in here and I can move these around. I can stretch out the duration. So right now they stack on top of one another. Then I can still use the controls over the inspector tab to move these up. So if I want to create like stacking phrases, I can do that as well. Then if I go to this text here where he says he went to jail, I can disable that if I want to and do it like I did in my original edit. I'm going to go back into my text flow pack. I'm going to go into the Chrome text and I'm just bring that down to the timeline. I'm just going to cut this to be the exact same length. So I'm going to split the clip and then delete the back end. Then I'm going to go here and type in the word jail. Actually, the timing is a little bit off because it actually starts right here. So I'm going to move this back a little bit. Cut it about right there. Then I'm going to adjust the text. So I'm going to move it up on the Y axis to make it real big. Increase the size a little bit. And then I'm going to create character spacing. And I'm going to move it down a little bit on the Y axis. And then I want the text to appear behind them. So I'm going to just grab my clip here. Or oh, Alt. Just select the footage. I'm going to make a copy. Then I'm going to open that in Fusion by right-clicking, then select Open in Fusion. Then I just use the Magic Mask to cut them out. So I'm going to go up here, click my Magic Mask. I have it in the toolbar up here. I'm going to click, make my selection. I'm going to click on Better and then track back and forward. Then the rest of the text will maintain the same style that I used from the preset. Unfortunately, I'm CEO. I ain't choose the screen. They chose me. I signed a deal and went to jail. They ain't even seen me pop my shit. So we're going into the new year. If you want to get text flow for 60% off, make sure you use the link in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next video.